breaking news. A few minutes ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space with the first contact made in nation's capital. Our reporter Evelyn is live in Wellington. What can you tell us, Evelyn? Thank you. I'm Evelyn, reporting live from Lampton Quay. As you can see, there's panic and terror in the streets of New Zealand as New Zealanders have woken up to find aliens throughout our towns and cities. These space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet unless we give them what they want. The risk of harm to the public is very real and... Evelyn? Are you there, Evelyn? We appear to have lost our signal. Now, in a bizarre exclusive, an alien has taken one of our reporters into their space vessel to broadcast their demands. Standing by is Larissa. What's happening there? Yes, well, well, it's chaos, but what we can tell you here about these alien creatures is that they smell really bad, like a mixture of blue cheese and rotten socks. It looks like the aliens are getting prepared to tell us something on their alien translator. People of Earth, listen carefully. We are the superior beings from planet Gartharun from the galaxy Ugar. We demand these three things in no particular order. We want chicken. Ah, uh, chicken burgers. We want your kids as slaves. All these things, if you do not do it, we will hunt you down and we'll use our... What did I say? Our superpowers to kick you, fight you, and put you in the grave. Well, there you have it. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of human race? Making your voice heard on X using the hashtag, hashtag oh my god, aliens. Currently, the government is preparing to make a statement. So, we cross now to parliamentary reporter, Taya. Thanks, Ive. Crowds have gathered here, but many are on, still on their way back to work. Some people are quite unaware. Aliens have invaded people. Wake up, be afraid. Here comes the prime minister to address the nation. People of New Zealand, this is your Prime Minister speaking, asking all of you to remain calm. It is important that we do our best to make these space aliens feel welcome. We must display our friendly qualities that define us as New Zealanders. We will be holding a poor fitting later today, then I will join the alien leader on a helicopter tour of our beautiful country. Our hope is that these beings will spare us from destruction and move on to Australia. If you come across these creatures, we recommend that you hold your breath, smile and run away quickly. Well, that is it. In the meantime, continue with your usual business. That is all. Thank you. Thanks, Prime Minister. Now, where's you from here? To answer these questions, we have collected a panel of alien experts to discuss what you at home can do to get through this event. Can you hear me there? What should we do? Hello, hello, hello. I think the first thing we should all be doing is inviting them into our country, or planet Earth, whatever you call it, and then we should uh, use some of our big brain knowledge up here to trade for their little brain knowledge. That is obviously completely foolish. What we should do is give them back take them back to their natural habitat. They could not adapt to these so surfaces. You two dim witted idiots are both wrong and I'll tell you what we should be doing is run! Well, so much for the opinions of the experts. Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at mayhem happening up and down the country. Thanks, guys. Let's have a look. Yeah. In Auckland, there is an outrage as the aliens knock over the sky tower and use it as a space antenna f for their ship. Keep away from the downtown area. In Wellington, the railway station has become an alien transit lounge where they are relaxing in preparation for killing us all. 
Meanwhile, confusion in Canterbury where aliens, aliens have formed a very strange partnership with the region's cow community. <laughs> and in Dunedin, creatures have been spotted rolling down the world's steepest tree. <laughs> The aliens are said to be extremely dizzy and should not be approached. Well, I'm going to hide in my basement. Back to you, Simon Maisie. Finally, we interview someone who claims they have had a close encounter with the creatures from outer space. Our reporter, Eric, is with that person now. I'm here with Dr. Ramansov, who says they were once abducted by aliens. Hello, and thank you for joining us today. This alien invasion must stir up some painful memories for you. What exactly are creatures from outer space like? Well, well, they're green and, and terrifying. Mm. How has this ex experience affected you? Well, now I can't get to sleep at night. Mm. Finally, Dr. Ramosov, as a person of experience with extraterrestrials, what do you think we should be doing? I think it's time for us to get out our shotguns and get ready to fire away. Mm, bit violent. Well, Dr. Ramosov, thank you very much for your time. Back to the studio. Thanks, Eric. Well, I'm going to run home to my mummy. And I'm going to eat as many lollies as I can until I'm sick. Or the aliens get us. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates or follow our live stream to watch the end of humanity as it is. Goodbye, everybody, and may these terrifying and foul-smelling aliens have mercy on us all. Kia kaha koto, and we'll see you tomorrow if there is one. Yeah!